Okay, if you want to know what this is based off of, uh, this is part two of my video on the uh, big Sterling engine sold on uh, eBay. Go ahead and type in uh, on your Google or your start page, Kaiko Sterling fan. That'll give you all the history. Basically, it was a uh, old uh, gas-powered fan, like uh, um, propane or natural gas, something like that. And it would run based off the heat. And all this is is really a copy of the Kaiko, a Pakistan copy, more or less. Patent's been uh, expired for years, so there's no worries there. But um, so anyway, this is it unpacked. Initial impressions is uh, kind of a spray paint type jobby. The uh, hood on this side. Whoops, has been uh, broke, it broke off during shipping, there's a piece of it down there, but what do you expect, it came all the way from Pakistan, halfway around the world, so, um, it looks handmade, I certainly don't have the skills to make something like this, um, metal working skills and everything, so I'm not going to complain, um, it's the only one on sale on the internet that I could find. Took forever to get here. Um, this little housing right there. For the the gear works, the inner works. Um, and uh, like that, there you go. Now the one in the picture didn't come with the the valve assembly welded on here. You know. Um, so that was the shock. Um, I intended to run this with a uh, Fresnel lens, which I have yet to get yet. It's good that I have this option too. Um, it's just gonna it's just gonna cause me a little disruption when I want to do to put the Fresnel. Uh, probably gonna put like a a metal jar or something like here, filled with oil, and have the Fresnel lens hit that. That way, there's a uh, there's a uh, kind of like a double boiler between the hot rays of the, the hot beam of the sun and the metal. I don't want to burn in the hole. So I'll have to jury rig something like that. But we'll see in time. I'll put that up on YouTube if I if I do it. So here's the inner workings. Um, I was I was kind of manipulating a little bit. And you can hear us hear the the air escaping. So there's a there's a gasket in there. Hear that? It's Pakistan Air right there. Um, so, basically, this heats up. I guess you can use your natural gas or propane or whatever. This heats up. Hot air expands. Moves a valve in there. The valve, when it, when the hot expands, moves up. Uh, rotating the flywheel here, right? And then, um, and then it cycles, and then it, the process repeats again. And oh, speaking of fly, this is a flywheel right here. This is what comes with. I guess you can order a gear to come with it, but I wanted this so it could attach some some kind of alternator or or DC generator or something like that to it, like that. Yeah, anyway, this is all handmade stuff, so. Um, Basically, oh, uh, size, okay, um, I really need a ruler or something like that, but basically this is about a foot off the ground here, so probably a little less than two feet high, I'm guesstimating here, about a little less than two feet high, so it's not a super huge machine, um, comes up, I'm five foot six, right, it's a little bit higher than my knee. Um, well, so this is some big monster machine like I thought it was. So there you go. That is, uh, I've yet to get it operational. I'll probably put that on another video. There you go. There's a Sterling engine that you can buy. It's available now. Comes all the way from Pakistan. You gotta wait like a month and a half. But, but until we start making these 
in the U.S. of A. If we ever do, that's the only source for something of this size. Um, yeah, so, well, there you go. And I, they say use a white uh, mach a sewing machine oil on it. So, um, I have yet to purchase that. So, uh, anyway, a little nifty candle carrying handle up here so you can move it around where you need to and like that so I hope this was an informative video and like I said look up the Kaiko Keiko uh, hot air engine or the what's it on here oh yeah the sterling fan originally it was a fan using colonial Britain uh, especially in the colonies um, the, just imagine the fan blades here, and then they'd, uh, they'd use their gas to power that and it cool their house off in, the, in the, uh, the hot British colonies. So, anyway, a little bit of history, a little bit of fun for you. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd do a better review than what's available about this thing. So, anyway, um, anyway subscribe to my channel. Support my sponsors. My channel is Military Industrial Museum, where I review uh, military stuff, industrial stuff, things like that. Okay, other than that, you have a good one. And thanks for uh, checking this out.